how to turn your gaming computer into a mining gaming machine. I'm talking about how to mine cryptocurrencies with your gaming computer in this video, so stay tuned. Today we're gonna to talk about how to mine Digibyte with your home gaming PC computer, whatever you wanna call it. This is not a specialized machine. It's everything that I needed to play video games, but also I can mine cryptocurrencies. Like I said, the big secret here is the GTX 1070. Now, this is the founder edition card. It's not the best one out there, but it came with a computer, so it really didn't matter for me. I've actually bought two more GTX 1070 Ti's that I'm gonna insert two riser cards to now have three GPUs running off this machine, and we'll see how that goes. Right now, like I said, I'm just using this system. I haven't added anything out of the box. This is exactly how this system came. We're gonna talk about how to set up your miner, how to get it all working, the program, the software, and start mining Digibyte today. So now the fun part, figuring out the software you're going to need to download to be able to mine cryptocurrencies on your computer. There's a couple of different programs out there, a couple of different ways to do it, but the way that I'm going to be explaining it today is using a program called Awesome Miner. You can also use a program called Nice Hash, which is really, really easy to set up. You can literally download it and press start. But if you want to pick a specific cryptocurrency like Digibyte, you're going to need to use an actual miner. So head on over there to awesomeminer.com. You can download it from their website. Once you download it, you can install it on your PC. It's very simple and easy. So after you download Awesome Miner, you're going to need to sign up for a pool. The pool that we're going to be using is theblocksfactory.com. So you need to head on over to theblocksfactory.com and sign up for an account. Once you sign up for an account, you'll open it up and you'll configure it. So after you have your pool set up, your Awesome Miner set up, you're gonna also need to worry about making sure that you have a Digibyte Core Wallet or there's other wallets out there, but I suggest using a Core Wallet you can download for Mac. You can download onto your computer, and that'll be your wallet that you're transferring your Digibyte that you're mining into. And you can set it up with the Blocks Factory, actually. So every time you hit a certain amount of Digibyte, it'll automatically transfer into your wallet. You can check out digibyteguide.com for a lot of this information I'm talking about in this video. So what we're going to be using for this video is the Digibyte Skine pool. Once you sign up for an account and get it all set up, you can configure it later on. The most important part from the pool is figuring out your worker name. So you're gonna need to figure out your account name. Your worker is going to be your rig, your computer with one GPU. So once you get all that figured out and signed up, you're going to need the pool information for Awesome Miner. So currently I already have Awesome Miner set up on my computer. So it might look a little bit different than when you first download it, but you can get an idea of what it should look like. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna show you your miner on there and all your information. My miner is running right now, so it's gonna give me real time information. Tell me the hash power, tell me how long it's been running and all that information. It's not amazing, it's not gonna give you the exact, like how many coins you've gotten and all that stuff. You can get the information from the actual pool website. So after you click new miner, you're gonna pop up this window, you'll click next. We're gonna be using the miner that's in the computer, which is your GPU. So you don't need to figure out external miner and stuff like that and network scan. Just gonna click there to manage miner. This next window, you can change the description of the miner if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it my managed miner, it doesn't matter. Click next there. And then you're gonna come over here to the new Manage Miner software and pool. Now, we're gonna need to change some of these things around. You can see already it's showing up with the blocks, Digibyte pool there in the bottom. That's just because I've already used that pool, but you'll have to, but you'll have to add the information from the pool into the, but you'll have to add your information from the pool into the mining software. We're gonna go to algorithms and change this to Skine algorithm. Once we change that, we're gonna change the software to NVIDIA CC miner and then also we're going to add pool information so for the pool i'm just going to put description can be anything uh, digibyte pool whatever you want there so for the server url i'll put a link in the description but i'm going to type in the server url that's the information of the pool that's the pool url that's what you're going to be directing all your hash power towards and then for my worker name i'm going to put my personal account name that's my worker name and then put my password for the account so after I do that, I'm gonna go down to optional settings. It's gonna say coin. I'm gonna find the one that says unspecified skine and click there. Now there's one very important part that you need to worry about right here after you do all this. And it's gonna be this next step. I do that, I'm gonna go up here to the left on advanced. I'm gonna type in dash dash algo equals 
skines. So that's going to be telling the miner that we're going to be using a skine algo and that's the pool that we're using. So that's very important. You need to go to advanced and then type that in there. I'll, I'll put that information in the description below as well. So you can just copy and paste that, but make sure you do this. If you do not, do, if you don't do this, it will not work. Trust me. I've tried it. I had the same problem and then I figured out what I was doing wrong. So make sure you're putting this in the advanced pool properties. So after that, I'm going to click next again. It's going to bring you up to this menu. I'm going to press finished and everything should be configured at that point. So now when I open up my minor properties, it should look exactly like this. You can also download the newest Alexa 78 minor and that will allow you to get a little bit better hash power if you're mining Digibyte on the NVIDIA card. I'll put that link in the description as well. But this is basically your template. This is what it should look like and it'll give you all the information that you need right there on the screen. I'm gonna also link a step-by-step -step tutorial in the description. You can check out, it's at digibyteguide.com. Click that link in the description. It'll give you a step-by-step -step process on how to do everything that I'm talking about in this video. And I wanna give a big shout out to my guy, Josiah, who put this all together and has helped me along the way with my mining career. My so once you have your miner set up, you're gonna go up here to the top and press start. Once you press start, it should pop up with this little window here that will give you information about what's going on with your miner and then also kind of show you your hash power and information. And then it should all look like this basically once it's all going and running, it'll start giving these little numbers and information and kind of telling you your hash power, how much you're mining and give you kind of confirmations on what's going on with your miner. So another option, another thing you can do is you can actually overclock your GPU to increase the hash power and there's a lot of different theories and guides online. I'll let you guys kind of research yourself, figuring out what settings are best for the car that you have in your computer. And you can see here, I use this software called MSI Afterburner. That's gonna allow me to basically change, change the settings around with my graphic card so I'm able to increase my hash power. More hash power equals more money, more coins. And you can see there, there it is. So pretty simple, awesome miner. It's easy, it's simple and you can get it set up in about five minutes. It took me all of five minutes once I knew what I was doing. It might take you a little bit longer when you first get it all set up, but you'll see it's not rocket science. You can start mining Digibyte today in a matter of minutes using a basic home computer. So obviously the newer, the better your graphics card is, the more hash power you're gonna get, the more Digibyte you're gonna be able to mine. Also, you can see here how many Digibyte I've mined in the last couple days. I'm getting around, what, 40 or 50 a day. Uh, right now, I've got about 100 ready to transfer over to my wallet. I suggest that you can set it up, basically. Whenever you want to transfer, you can do that in your account. Go to your account details, and you can change your cash out. So whenever you hit a certain milestone or a certain amount, it'll just go ahead and cash out those Digibyte to your wallet. You can check out digibyteguide.com for a lot of this information I'm talking about in this video. So head on over to digibyteguide.com. Get more information about mining, get more information about wallets, and also just more information about Digibyte. If you guys haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will talk to you later on.